this whole idea of perception is reality. Most people aren't reading the bills. They should, but they're not. Most people are not watching the whole speech. They should, but they're not. And they know that. On to Biden just needs to keep MAGA Republicans out his effing mouth. <laughs> keep your dirty fingers out of my mouth. I mean, I, yeah, it's just, it's, it's not useful. It's not useful. I get that there is a, a cohort of people that are, are uh, 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 more fervent about the conspiracy and all, all, you know, just saying that he's not my president, uh, uh, willing to go into the Capitol and, and, and actually riot. There are those people. There are those people. But most people who are, are uh, 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 voting for Trump are not those people. And so when you put us all in one basket, what else are we supposed to think? I, I guess just to that point, it, is there like a label that you could put on this specific group of Republicans, you know, typically elected Republicans who are pushing these narratives or, or maybe even some of the, the biggest mouthpieces people like uh, Tucker Carlson or Laura Ingram, right? Like the very strictly hardline, very pro-Trump Republican group. Like what what label might you attach to that specific group? America first. America first. Okay. Because if we're tra- and, 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 and because again, this is what I was saying earlier about the you know the, the you can pick on your little sister, but you're not going to let anybody else pick on your little sister. That if we're on the uh, uh, if we're on you know, generally on the right. And yes, we might have disagreements among ourselves, but when it comes to the 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 uh, uh, the broad stage, then we're we're all about like, hey, we want to keep money here. We want to keep uh, 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 you know uh, the, the 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 jobs here, all, all all that kind of stuff. We don't want to be spending money in wars all over the the uh, uh, all over the world because of the oppressors and this like that that that's life. And I don't think that it's un- again, I don't think it's unreasonable to to be like, well. And you know, Nikki Haley or Biden, uh, uh, Biden is going to get us into wars. And I think that is such a, you know, what T Bird said it earlier no new wars in four years. That doesn't mean he didn't have military action, but no new wars. And we were definitely uh, 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 in, uh, uh, you know, near conflict with North Korea. And if you, depending on what you believe, uh, uh, Russia as well. And everything was kosher. Everything was kosher. And then as soon, as soon as uh, 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 Brandon gets in, not only do we have issues uh, uh, with uh, uh, Russia and Ukraine, then um, you know the the, uh, uh, the 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 border is a gigantic issue, and that's on top of the the cultural issues that somebody like me, who's not as well read as you are, it, it, it has to focus on. Because again, this whole idea of perception is reality. The most people aren't reading the bills. They should, but they're not. Most people are not watching the whole speech. They should, but they're not. And they know that. They know that. They know that there's p- parts where, okay, this p- this to this is definitely going to get clipped. They know that. And there, there's no attempt to to uh, uh, to bridge that gap. But there's the, the, the language as if they are. Let them fight. So the soul said it would be nice if they admitted that the perception of the election being fraudulent was valid. Then did a presentation on uh, bullet point facts that prove otherwise without uh, including ideological propaganda. In it. That might help, but it doesn't make money or get clicks, does it? And, and that's where I would, you know, like uh, somebody like uh, 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 like a David Pakman or a, a Majority Report or, or something, so, someone like that who has a uh, more mainstream but alternative media, the, the Young Turks. Why, like that, why aren't they doing that? I mean, and said, they definitely have, right? If you don't pay attention to that, you will never catch that, right? Because you're within this part of the echo chamber, right? Um, and along with that, I mean, it's it's just hard to convince something um, that something is not true if they accept it without strong evidence, right? So like if the evidence does not really exist or they've been presented something that's been, been twisted, clipped, or, right? Like the, the Ruby Freeman clip uh, in Georgia, mm-hmm. right? That, that was a huge thing that, that Trump, um, I think he stopped calling back to it since uh, uh, Rudy Giuliani was successfully sued for defamation over it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, it. how do you convince someone that something didn't happen if they accepted it without evidence, right? 
It's sort of like trying to convince someone that God doesn't exist, right? There is no God! If if they believe it, then it like there's no negative evidence that, that you can show right. besides, you know, that, okay, they did take it to court and it was thrown out for lack of evidence or because their remedy was to, to throw out, um, you know, indiscriminately all mail-in ballots or, or something to that effect um right like okay. how do you convince someone who believes that so i, I mean i at this point i don't know that is a great question i wish i had the answer at this point i don't know what i would say is not do all the shady shit that you've been doing for the last 20 years uh, in the first place we've we've uh, uh, th do you think there's no reason to for uh, uh, americans on either side to have lost trust in the media establishment and the political establishment over the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years? I think there's a certain level of distrust that is warranted. I think that a lot of it isn't. And that's fair. But if we understand that it, that some level is, is reasonable mm -hmm. and you may be at this level of conspiracy and somebody else is at this level of conspiracy and somebody else is at this level of conspiracy, then if we're all uh, uh, admitting that the government is corrupt, that the, 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 the courts could be corrupt, that the, all, all of this could be corrupt, and it might, I, I just gave you all that, you know, uh, all the things that, uh, um, you know, all the things you were saying were true. Well, what if all the things that we're saying were true? If they were, then, yeah, there would be definitely a stronger case. But it, right. that comes back but, but, to no, no, no. who is including, convincing you and, including, and what are they using in order to, to convince you? I, I, I don't know. And I agree that that's a problem. But if there is such a if there is such a path where the enemies of the, uh, 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 of you know, the non-establishment, the establishment wants to, uh, uh, you know, trump up charges, no, uh, trump up charges, and then, um, uh, you know, you know, get, uh, get them on a uh, lack of standing. Or even, you know, throw out evidence that that uh, doesn't uh, uh, that doesn't go towards their favor. That does happen to normal people in regular courts. So why why all of a sudden are we saying, oh well, a court said it, so it must be true, when we know that there's corruption? And I, I think it's fair to say, well, I, I mean, I have a little bit. We, we we both have a lack of trust, and I have a little bit more lack of trust. Because if everything we said was true, it wouldn't just make for a stronger case. It would be a bombshell. Yeah. And and, and the, the, the problem is that I don't think that necessarily all of the conspiracies are are exactly what they are. That would be too easy to too easy to prove, maybe. I don't know. But but there's definitely some. We definitely know that you absolutely can transmit and get COVID once you're vaccinated. And that was a that was a a, a stark, you know, uh, uh, advertisement for the vaccine, whether it works or it doesn't, or it's good or it's bad, or it's great science or it's mRNA or whatever. The fact is they lied. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed that clip, check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you there.